Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Madeline. If you are new here, please go ahead and subscribe if you aren't already. I make weekly fashion and lifestyle videos and today's video is my outfit series. Five outfits, one blank, where I take one item from my closet and style it five different ways. Not claiming the title to be like original or whatever, but it's just a regular thing that we do here on the Blunt Blonde. So couple of things to go over before we get into it. One, the point of this video is obviously in the title. We're taking one thing, styling it five different ways. So in the future, for me personally, if I want to wear this one specific item, I have five different outfits that I'm going to come up with along with you guys. With that said, I film these videos in real time. So we're going to be kind of styling and figuring all of these outfits out together. Um, all of these outfits, I try to give like five different styles, five different vibes, so at least one of them can potentially resonate with you. Um, whichever one or ones resonate with you, definitely comment below which one you like the most or which one you would most likely wear. I feel like I'm doing a lot with my hands. So I've chosen the item that we're gonna style today. I actually got a request to do this. I feel like this item was definitely trendy during the fall season. I will continue to wear them whether they are trendy in the future or not. Um, another thing to note, kind of a weird time that I'm filming this, like cold weather, warm weather. Um, I'm going to try and give different kind of outfits more appropriate for warm weather, more appropriate for cold weather. So you can kind of like, you know, relate to the one that is most like your your weather your climate i guess so what are we styling today someone requested to do the spanx faux patent leather leggings they're so shiny so glossy i got these for christmas and i have worn them to death like they're so amazing you can dress them up you can dress them down i love spanx leggings so incredibly much um it's the only spanx item that I own at the current moment, but I swear I own like seven or eight pair. I'm so obsessed. I have like the faux leather, I have two of the camo, I have the plain, I have the croc, like it just, it just keeps going. And I think without a doubt, these are probably my favorite pair. So these are really great. They're a little bit pricey. I think these are either 110 or 128, but I will say, they definitely do the job like these are very fitted on me as they should be and they don't really squeak on me either I've heard people kind of like have a hit or miss experience with that with these but these don't really squeak I guess too like the more you wear them they probably don't squeak either there's another brand that has patent leather leggings I think they may be like the commando brand or something I'm not sure. I'm just very biased to Spanx. What I like about these two is they're a little bit more structured, definitely stretchy like a legging, but um, I can get away with wearing something a little shorter with these, whereas I feel, feel like with some of the other Spanx leggings, I can't. Um, I don't know. I'm one of those people that doesn't really like to show my hips. Nothing wrong with my body type. I think I definitely have more of like a pear shape and I hold more of my weight like in my hips. Um, so I kind of like wearing something longer with it. I don't like showing off that asset literally, but with these, I feel like I can get away with wearing something a little shorter and I don't feel so self-conscious. Um, I size down in these, so I'm pretty tall and I would get a large in most of the leggings. I also don't like um, a waistband that's really fitted to me, but I size down to a medium in these so they're very fitted and they look more like a pan so enough chit chat let's go ahead and get into the styling portion all right we are in my closet in the guest room yes if you are new here this is my fall winter closet rack if you will personally my favorite season so that's why i like filming in this one as opposed to the one in my room that one's very small and I can't really take you in there but let's go ahead and get into it I definitely have been thinking about this outfit I haven't thought okay let's get one thing straight I haven't pre-planned these outfits 
but it's really hard when I decide on the item I'm going to style to not go ahead and start thinking about them, okay? So I thought about styling the shirt with the pants. So this is new for me. I showed this, I think, literally in both of my videos last week. Um, but this is a Hawaiian-esque shirt by Johnny Coda. Am I in frame? Hope so. This is a Hawaiian shirt by Johnny Coda or Johnny Coda Studio. He won Making the Cut. It's a fashion competition on Amazon. Blah, blah, blah. He's incredible. One of my favorite designers. So um, it's kind of like this bold leopard print, as you can see. And then on the back, it just has his last name, Coda. And I don't know, I feel like this could be like a rocker vibes or something. Um, I think I wanna do like a Baker Boy hat. Oh, with like round sunglasses. Yeah. When I was younger and I don't know if anyone else can relate. And by younger, I mean 18. Um, in my like, you know, One Direction, Five Seconds of Summer Prime, I would genuinely think about outfits that I would wear backstage. Sometimes I still do that. I feel like this would be a, a really cool like backstage outfit. Hanging with the guys, taking photos. I don't know, I think that would be really cool. And another thing with those pants too, is I personally think it looks best if you do like a shiny black shoe with it, particularly a boot, you don't have to. Um, I just think if you like do something too totally different from the color and the finish of it, it looks too um, like, cut off and blocked in the outfit. I don't know if that makes sense. So I think for shoes, I may do these. I've worn these a lot with the pants, but they're just these platform boots from Zara and they have kind of like a croc um, finish to it, if you will. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. Okay, look number one. I also secretly thought about this one, but this is a cute little top from Fabric, F-A-B, apostrophe R-I-K. It's kind of like a silk, satin, champagne finish top. These were really popular, I think probably last summer. Um, kind of like that boxy cut crop with shoulder pad, also has an elastic bottom. This is gonna be shorter, for sure, but I think the proportions could be good because most Spanx leggings are more high-waisted. Um, but I don't know, shiny with shiny could look kind of cool. I think. Then for shoes, I feel like this would be more of a dressy look. I'd probably do like a stiletto or a kitten heel with it. I'll figure that out off camera. Okay, what is next? Okay, so I have a shoe in mind. All right, I immediately thought of this shoe. So these are some Stan Smiths by Adidas. I love Stan Smiths. I was totally that person that had the white pair with like the green back. Um, but they're also patent leather, like the pant. I got these for Christmas and I think they're so cool. They're a little bit harder to style, but maybe, you know, this can give me some ideas for the future for these. So I thought about these because on the back it has kind of like a baby pink logo thing. I don't know. And then I thought, what about this flannel to go with it? and do a layer look. So I surprisingly, maybe not so surprisingly, got this from Target. The surprising part, I guess, is it's by the Wild Fable brand, which I'm not like the hugest fan of, but I love this. So um, it's like a pink plaid flannel. You can wear it as a dress as well. It's pretty long, um, buttons obviously. And I think underneath I'd probably do a graphic tee. I usually always incorporate a graphic tee in one of these videos because those are my go-to. That is my staple in my closet that I always rely on as well as black jeans. So that can definitely be more of like a casual option. I'm getting stumped. Okay, I've decided to go for a fun layer look. I don't do this too often, what I'm about to show you, but I genuinely think the look is like super cute so this isn't groundbreaking either like I think I wore something similar in elementary school hey they say styles come back around but I'm just gonna take a plain white tee and layer a little silky camisole over it not sure about the proportions not sure how that's gonna look I also have no clue what shoe I'm gonna do 
I also have no idea if I'm gonna put a jacket over this. I don't know, I feel like I could make this like a cute off-duty look and do a sneaker with it, but I could also make it kind of dressy like brunch and do more of like a heel or a heeled boot. I'm really stumped on a last look, but I want to experiment with a tall boot. I haven't worn these pants with a tall boot before. I feel like it could, again, look a little too choppy, but this is what these videos are for. This will help me out, and if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. We move on. So I think what I wanna do is take like, oh my God, this has to be stained. So I wanna take an oversized button down. I typically, don't like wearing stiffer shirts. I don't like being uncomfortable. I like being fashionable. I don't like being uncomfortable. I never thought I would say that because I'd literally like break my ankle in high school to wear something super cute. But now I'm just like, no, I need to be able to stretch, cross my legs, do a backflip, all of it. So I think I'm gonna do just like a simple button down to really I like the pants, if you will. I don't have a black tall boot. That's the exact same finish of the pants, so I think I'm gonna do something kind of totally opposite with a tall boot. Since the top is more simple and the pants are not, I just thought we should go for even more not so simple because in my opinion, more is more and there's nothing wrong with that. So these boots are from Zara, a little bit taller, not the tallest pair of boots I have. These come probably just below my knee. I don't know, I really want to see how this makes me look. And I've genuinely not experimented with a tall boot with these. So yeah, and I mean, just looking at it, it will be a white top with a black pair of pants. So I thought we should do something fun and do a snake print boot. All right, I'm gonna go ponder a little bit more off camera, maybe grab some other accessories, figure out some shoes, and I'll see you guys for the try on part. All right, we are in a brand new setup. So this is my new in-home studio. I am so excited about it. It's not completely done yet. There's still a lot more work that needs to happen, but I've got my beautiful white backdrop in my stands. Next up to add will be lights. And those are coming, I think, in maybe two weeks. So you'll have to bear with me for this video, probably the next fashion video as far as lighting goes. Um, I know it's not great at the moment, but we are working with what we have. Also, I know the setup for the camera is a little bit awkward. Um, you obviously see this beautiful TV chest on this side. That is because when I put the camera in the middle, you see stuff on both sides, so I figured I would give you like mostly a white background. So we are almost there to being fully in business, fully professional. My vision is coming to life and I'm really excited about it. I'm really excited to show you guys when it's all done. So we are in the very first look. This is kind of like my rocker off duty backstage with the boys kind of look. So the shininess of the pants kind of go really well with the boots in my opinion. I think it would make it even better if the boot was pointier but the same shiny finish. This is the Johnny Coda Hawaiian shirt. Love the back of this one, it says Coda. And then I've got a black Baker Boy hat on. I think I would just add some round sunglasses to give it that rocker look. Second look is definitely more dressy. I, oh, I'm in the frame. I really hope I'm in the frame. So this is the one that kind of has like the layer plain t-shirt underneath with the silky tank on top. I love that look. You can even wear it with a pair of jeans and make it not so dressy, but I dressed it up with a pair of kitten heels. These are from Zara. Also paired it with just this little mini fur bag from Target, I love this. I think I would actually like wear this out, you know, if I had somewhere dressy to go, but um, pandemic times, what can I say? This is what I love about the Spanx leggings as well is, I mean, beforehand, like I tucked them in a pair of boots, but they're so easy to dress up and put with a little heel. I'm obsessed. They're really versatile and you should definitely buy them. Okay, third look. Also a little bit dressier like the last one. These heels are very similar to the last heels. They just didn't have a strap on them, but they're very Valentino-esque. I got them from DSW, surprisingly. 
I love them. I always wear them if I need something to go to that's dressy. So this is this little shoulder pad top. It's from Fabric. Love the champagne color and the length of it is about the same height as the pants. Um, I don't know. I'm very um, iffy with short shirts and these pants, but I think this look would be really pretty. Maybe even if I put my hair up in a ponytail, I think it would be very sassy. Cute date night look, going out with girls look. Big, big fan. I think it would also do like really big gold earrings. Also, kitten heels are a no for this backdrop because I just poked a hole in my very expensive backdrop with the last shoes. So I'm gonna have to be very careful walking around here. I hoped I was in frame before. I really hope I'm in frame now. So this was kind of the wild card outfit because I hadn't tried um, like a taller boot with these pants before because I thought it would be a little too choppy, but I'm pleasantly surprised. I think it actually kind of works. Also, this needs a steam really bad. But I like the snake skin with the shiny. I don't know, it's all kind of like reptilian and Amazonian, right? So boots are from Zara, top is from Zara, bag is from Zara. I love this bag, it's acrylic-y, kind of like a hard shell. I honestly don't know where I would wear this. Maybe to get lunch. I wouldn't wear it to go grocery shopping, I can tell you that much. I don't know, I think this could be like a much simpler outfit if you just take the boots out, but when you add like a statement boot with these, I mean, it's like statement on statement. So this is the last and final look. This is probably my least favorite look. Also probably the most wearable, but what I do like about this is the matching patent leather with the patent leather pants. I think that's really fun. I also love that I'm matching the pink with the pink and the flannel. I don't know, maybe I chose the wrong graphic tee. Maybe it just needs a plain tee. I don't know, maybe I was wanting to do too much. But I just paired a Rolling Stones graphic tee from the Hot Topic under here. Don't sleep on Hot Topic. They have really good t-shirts. Also, maybe instead of doing a graphic tee, I could do like a simple hoodie underneath. I like that look. I like that layering kind of deal. I don't know, most wearable. You could wear this going to run errands, doing something casual, hanging with friends. So that is going to be it for today's fashion video. Thank you so much for watching. Give it a big thumbs up if you made it to the end and subscribe if you aren't already. Also be sure to comment below which of these outfits were your favorite. Um, yeah, thanks for bearing with me. Um, content quality is going to be stepped up. Just not so much this week, but hang in there. It's coming. I'm so excited. So be sure to follow me on my Instagram at Madeline underscore hair. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.